and welcome to today's lesson on the transmission and reflection of waves. Waves travel at a constant speed in a given medium. Transmission is the process of a wave transferring its energy from one medium to another medium. Since there is a change in medium, there is a change in speed. This process is very similar to refraction. However, refraction refers specifically to bending a wave. Transmission deals mostly with change, the change of speed uh, of the wave. When a wave is transmitted into a new medium, its frequency will remain the same. Since we know that sp the speed will change, then the wavelength must also change. In order for the relationship V equals frequency times lambda times the wavelength to remain true. Therefore, if frequency remains constant uh, with an, an initial wavelength, when an initial wavelength is tra transmitted into a final wavelength, we get the following situations by solving for frequency. So we have um, VI over lambda I equals VF over lambda F. Therefore, if frequency remains constant when an initial wave is transmitted into a final wave, we get the following situation by solving for frequency. Where VI is the initial frequency, Lambda i is the initial wavelength, vf is the final wavelength, and lambda f, vf is the final velocity, and lambda f is the final wavelength. A tightrope is connected to a slinky. A wave traveling at 1.5 meters per second is introduced into the tightrope. After the wavelength is transmitted to the slinky, the wave is traveling at 5.35 meters per second with a wavelength of 3.00 meters per second. What is the wavelength of the wave in the tightrope? Alrighty, so we can start by writing down our formula. VI over lambda I equals VF over lambda F. Okay, we're going to figure out our knowns and unknowns just like we've done all through this course. V i lambda i v f lambda f. So we have to figure out where it starts. So the wave starts in the tightrope and is transmitted into the slinky. So all of the initial velocities and uh, the initial velocity and the initial wavelength will be of the tightrope, and the final velocity and the final wavelength will be of the slinky. So the velocity in the tightrope, the initial velocity is 1.5 meters per second. It's asking us to find the wavelength in the tightrope. The velocity in the slinky was. 5.35 meters per second and the wavelength was 3.0 meters. Okay, so we can um, set everything in. So we get 1.5 meters per second over lambda i equals 5.35 meters per second over 3.0 meters. So the easiest way to solve for this would be to flip uh, both sides. So we have lambda i over 1.5 meters per second equals 3.0 meters over 5.35 meters per second. Then we need to multiply both sides by 1.5 meters per second. Remember that will cancel out and we'll be left with the lambda i. Okay, and when I plug that into my calculator, I end up with 0 0.84 meters per second. Reflection. Imagine a rope is tied to a wall. The rope is our medium 
uh, and the rope being connected to the wall makes it a fixed end. That is, the end of the rope will not remove in relation to the wall. If a wave travels along the rope towards the wall, the energy will reflect off the wall and travel back through the rope. When the fixed end reflection occurs, the pulse will be inverted after the reflection that is, the initial crest will become a trough after reflection. The amplitude of the reflection wave is uh, smaller than the instant wave. So the angle of the wave coming back is smaller than the angle of the wave that went there. Um, because energy is lost in the barrier at the fixed end. This is called dampening. If the end of the media is not fixed, then the free end then free end reflection occurs. This results in a pulse that is not inverted. So if you look at the second picture here, um, the, the free end is being held with a ring, so it's free to move up and down. So as the incident wave comes in and is reflected back, the trough or the, the crest is the same. Here for the fixed end, the incident wave comes forward, and then as it goes back, it becomes a trough. Partial reflection. When a wave is transmitted into a new medium, partial reflection occurs at, it, occurs at its boundary. Therefore, the incident wave uh, will both reflect and transmit energy. If the wave is traveling from a light medium into a denser medium, the fix, fixed end reflection occurs. If the wave is traveling from a dense to a light medium, then free end reflection occurs. So here we have dense to or less dense to more dense, which will give us a fixed end reflection. Okay, so we have a crest traveling to the right, and then on the way back, coming back from the center, from the transition transmission period we have a trough, but we have a crest going through the more dense. In the more dense, if we start in the more dense and go to the less dense, we have an initial uh, crest that continues as a crest through the light medium and comes back as a smaller crest through the dense medium. All right, that's today's lesson. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know tomorrow in class. Have a great night.